Welcome everybody. If you're thinking about traveling to Belize, being an expat in Belize, anything that has to do with Belize, that you're gonna be here for any amount of time, these are six things that I've come up with since I've been living here for two years that I've seen, that I've witnessed, and these are six things that I do and you should do as well if you want to be safer in Belize, because Belize is a developing country. I wouldn't call it a third world country. Belize is definitely a developing country. If you want to be safer in Belize, here are six things that I came up with that you should definitely do. Number one is going to be wherever you're staying, do they have security video surveillance? And do they have security guards there at all times, especially night? A lot of places here in Belize, they don't have video surveillance and they don't have security guards. The law enforcement here is going to be completely different than what you're expecting from anywhere else. Thieves who target tourists coming through here, they target the tourists mainly because they're going to be here a short time. They're in and out, so if you leave something around, they can take it. If you file a report, it's probably going to get lost in paperwork because really nothing's done here by computers anyway, so it's just going to be lost. So you definitely want to find out if where you're staying has surveillance, if the hallways to your rooms have surveillance on them, every entrance coming in and out of the property has surveillance, and also, like I said, security. But once again, we're in a developing country. The security is only going to be as good as the person who was hired to do the security. Wages here are low. A lot of times somebody's not going to get involved. They're not going to put their life on the line. They're going to turn a blind eye. That's just what I've personally seen, what I know. So number one, like I said, ask if your resort has surveillance and security because it is a deterrent to thieves. Number two, and this is really a big one. Number two, housekeeping. A lot of people want to come on vacation. They want to relax, feel comfortable, hang out by the pool. Most of the excursions are inland for hours at a time. You want your bed made. You want a clean towel. Um, you know, you want things tidied up. So room service. I don't ever let anybody enter my room even room service unless I'm there and present and I keep my valuables out of sight. My opinion, don't let people just come into your room when you're not there. It's not smart. It's not smart at all. Nine times out of ten, somebody who's coming in to clean your room is going to tell somebody else about what you have in your room. That is normally where the theft is going to come from is somebody, now I'm not saying all, but Nine times out of ten, a theft that is going to come from your room is going to happen from somebody who was inside of your room and saw something that you had that's worth value. Do not let people clean your room, and I don't even care if it's a five-star resort. Do not let people clean your room unless you were there and present. It is smart. It's something that I do. I've been doing that ever since I started traveling. I do not let anybody inside of my room without me being there. Number three, Facebook pages. Facebook pages are really good to join if you're visiting Belize. Let's say you're in Amherst K, you're in Hopkins, you're in Punta Gorda, you're in San Ignacio, Santa Elena, you're looking for a taxi, you're looking for a restaurant, you're looking for anything. Me personally, I always go with the opinions of the people that are actually living in that area, who are in that area every day, besides just somebody that I don't know. Now granted, you really don't know anybody who's on the Facebook page, but nine times out of 10, what I've learned here in Belize, you're gonna get steered right in the right direction, not in the wrong direction. So Facebook pages here, and they're in every part of Belize. You can look up the local, Facebook page and ask a question in there, you're going to get steered in the right direction. This will help out a lot when you're looking for anything in this country. Number four, flashy. Don't be flashy. This is a 
developing country. There's not a lot of money here, but there's a lot of tourists that come in here that are out and want to pull out a bunch of money, want to wear a bunch of jewelry, just high cost camera equipment, just flashing things around. Don't do that. Use your debit and credit card as much as possible. Keep as little amount as cash on you as you need to. Keep just enough for an emergency, maybe if you have to grab a taxi, and something to get eat. But use your debit and your credit card as much as you can here. If a place doesn't take debit and credit, to be honest with you, just keep moving on. I do. I don't keep cash on me. It's smart. Do not keep a lot of cash on you and don't be flashy with the things that you have. You make yourself a target, not only here, but wherever you go, you're going to make yourself a target. Number five, and this has been my motto ever since probably I got older, since uh, I was in my 30s. Nothing good happens after 10 o'clock. It's my personal opinion. If you're a party animal, late night party animal, that's, that's you. It's not me. In my own personal experience here in Belize, nothing good happens after 10 o'clock. Not to say that after 10 o'clock there's all this rampant crime and everything else going on, but most things happen after 10 o'clock at night. Accidents, thefts, robberies, things like that normally happen after 10 o'clock. Most of the excursions, like I said, are hours inland. It's best, in my opinion, that if it's after 10 o'clock, you just stay where you're at. Get rest, catch up on the day, Talk to a friend on the phone, let them know how things are going. Get prepared for the next day. Like I said, nothing good happens after 10 o'clock. My sixth thing is going to be reliable transportation. Belize is about the size of New Jersey. And once again, I'm going to stress, most of the things inland are going to be an hour to two hours to get to and an hour to two hours to get back. So make sure whatever vehicle that you're getting in whether it's provided by the resort or you're hiring somebody local walk around the vehicle now I'm not saying pop the hood and check the oil and all that stuff walk around the vehicle the most important thing to look for here is tires believe it or not tires is a big deal here it's an issue and most accidents happen because these vehicles have ball tires so if you're getting in a vehicle that is either from the resort or one that you're hiring, take 10 seconds, walk around the vehicle, look at the tires. If it's not something that you would drive personally, don't get in it. Look for another form of transportation because the last thing that you want is to be in an accident or stranded on the side of the road here in Belize where the chances are of somebody coming to get you right away are few and far between. And that's facts. There is rental car companies here that if you rent a car, and you break down on the side of the road, they will literally tell you to leave the car on the side of the road and find another way back. It happens. It absolutely happens here. I know it probably blows your mind, but it absolutely happens here. So reliable transportation. Those six things. Surveillance and security. Housekeeping. Facebook pages. Nothing good happens after 10 and reliable transportation. Keep those things in mind when you're coming to Belize. It's going to make your time here a lot better. You're going to be a lot safer. Trust me on this one. Hope you enjoyed this video.